Well, a Utah woman now living in one of the most dangerous cities in the world is helping to bring women out of poverty. Now, she has taught them a skill that is giving them new hope. Tonight, new specialist Dan Rascone takes us up close with one common thread. Dan? In the slums of Honduras, I'm told many of these mothers are living on about $20 a week. Courtney Kimball, who's living in Honduras, came up with an idea that is now doubling or tripling their weekly income. And she's teamed up with her sister right here in Salt Lake. This is one of our better quilts. On display in Kim Fry's home. These are all hand stitched. Are some amazing and colorful quilts. As you can see, the tightness of the, of the stitches. All handmade, thousands of miles away. Right here in what is called the Boro, or slums of San Pedro Sula, Honduras, in Central America. Considered to be one of the most dangerous cities in all the world. When you go into the, the slums or the Bordo, um, you have to go with an armored guard. You can't go by yourself. We are now at the Bordo. But for Kim's sister, Courtney Kimball, who lives in Honduras, coming to the Bordo is an everyday thing. That's because this is where some of Courtney's dearest friends live, women and mothers living in poverty. The conditions are very grim. Trying to make ends meet. They're living day by day, and so they, they don't have cupboards full of food like we have in the States. For many of these women, there is new hope. Courtney has taught 20 of them her skill of sewing. As a result, these women are now hand sewing quilts. And we provide the pattern. Then Kim, who is living here in Salt Lake, sells the quilts online so the women can make money. Courtney and Kim call it One Common Thread, an idea that is now in the works of becoming a nonprofit organization. There's very few jobs for women, and um, this is just an opportunity that we saw that we could help these women. They can bring home rice, they can bring home bread, they can bring home milk, they can afford the formula. Whereas that gives them a sense of pride because they're taking care of their families. Courtney and her family have been living in Honduras for three years because of her husband's business. She started this idea after a young woman came to her wanting to earn money for bus fare. It just grew from there. The joy comes in seeing the change in these women's lives. They are learning a skill. They're learning how to talk to people. They have, they're very excited about the things that they're making. We've really created something that they can truly love and they can truly enjoy doing. And they actually have a future, whereas before they didn't. Courtney and Kim say 100% of the profits go to the women making those quilts. Right now they're selling about three a week. For more information about One Common Thread and to check out these quilts, go to our website, ksltv.com. Back to you guys. Dan, thank you. Beautiful quilts and beautiful story behind them. <laughs>